Hello everybody, my name is AJ Casey. Welcome to Theater One. This is your first day. Now typically, uh, historically, this is a day that we cover the syllabus, we talk about expectations, uh, we start uh, going over all the stuff that makes up this class, this class, so you have a good idea of what is in store for you the rest of the year. I don't have to tell you that this is not a typical year. Uh, so we're going to be doing things a little differently, and one of the things that I'm going to do uh, right off the bat is I'm going to hold the syllabus for one week, uh, one class week, because we alternate days on this alternative block schedule. And predominantly it's just that uh, I'm trying some new things out this year that I hadn't done in years past. And uh, I want to get you all's feedback on it to see how it's working out for you. So uh, what I will do is tell you the main idea of this class. Uh, as Theater One, this is an introduction to the theatrical world with an emphasis on practical applications, practice, and understanding. What that means is we're going to cover a lot about what it means to participate, to go to, and overall what it is uh, to be classified as theater. Now, this set of mastery guides that you're going to be looking at and over the course of these five lessons, what these are going to do uh, in terms of an overall grand idea is going to be an overview of certain principles uh, of this class uh, that will lay the foundation of knowledge that we will be able to apply to uh, further classes. One of the things we do a lot uh, in my class is we try to read a lot of plays uh, as a group um, and then we discuss those and talk about those. In that discussion we analyze them. It's through that process that we can really understand what it means to put on a show uh, from a different, from all different kinds of roles and responsibilities. We'll look at what it means to be an actor, what it means to be a director, a producer, a set designer, a costume designer, lighting designer, uh, and everything in between. So in this analysis and as we are talking about plays and structure and how they are and all this kind of jazz we're going to use a lot of examples from the theatrical world but uh, we are also going to use film film is an important uh, part of this uh, performing art this visually performing i should say visual performing art that is the theatrical world and truth be told uh, the best way to experience theater is to see theater so not every one of you has had the opportunity to see theater, much less good theater. Uh, but what you do have access to is good films, and ideally you've seen good films over time. So we'll be using film to help enhance our learning of theater and also be watching good productions uh, in the process. Uh, but this framework in terms of analysis of a play, of a script, is going to be fundamental to every other part of the class that we do. So we'll be looking at that over the next uh, couple of days uh, in this class, um, as well as some of the big picture ideas. In just a little while, you're going to go through the theater. Now, granted, it's a mess right now where I'm in the process of reorganizing uh, the entire thing. And I'll talk to you a little bit about what my thinking is and why we're doing what we're doing uh, to make things run more efficiently. So, uh, yeah, that's generally what this class is and what uh, we do over the course of the year and what you can learn from this will be varied. You know, uh, this is Theater One, and a lot of you are in this class for a lot of different reasons, and I don't have any preconceived notions to think that many of you are trying to go on to be uh, 
thespians in one way or the other. Now, some of you may be interested in performing arts. Uh, you may have some hidden desire to be an actor and think that, hey, you would make a great movie star or whatever the case may be, or you want to be TikTok famous or Instagram famous or whatever the next social media platform is, and that's fantastic. We will talk about things that should um, uh, not only enhance uh, your ability to be able to do those things, uh, but also uh, your appreciation of it. You know, one thing that's interesting about uh, your generation is that you grew up on uh, digital media consumption unlike other generations before you. Now, I am, and I'll talk a little bit more about myself in a little bit so you understand who I am, uh, but I'm 33 years old, and so uh, I remember a time when the Internet was fairly new, uh, we had AOL. I was actually in college uh, when Facebook just came out as, uh, you know, and totally destroyed the other uh, social media platforms that are around during the time. Uh, yes, I had a MySpace page. Yes, I used AOL, AOL Messenger. Yes, all those things, you know, I grew up. Uh, and so, but I'm telling you that because in terms of me, you know, and my relationship with not only digital communications, but digital media, you know, I was the Napster generation. That was me, you know, uh, the people that I was around with. And that has evolved over time uh, to encompass uh, the different uh, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, all those different streaming services. Uh, additionally, um, in terms of, you know, digital life, uh, you know, I met one of my uh, best friends uh, via online. And to this day, we remain uh, best friends. I was in his wedding and he was in my wedding. So um, I tend to think that I have a little bit of an understanding uh, about you kids and how you view the online world and what its relationship is to you. And certainly this class is not just about uh, that, but art in itself is a representation of life. It's trying to understand life. It's trying to work through emotions. Um, art is such an integral part of our lives, even if you don't necessarily appreciate that in, in its form. So uh, what does that have to do with theater? Everything, because uh, theater, is a constantly evolving, uh, ever-changing uh, art form that has um, stolen the hearts of many. And those are some of the things that we are going to explore and how that can relate to you. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what that is. All right, talking about myself is not just self-aggrandizing. I think it's important for you to understand who I am and where I come from. And uh, not necessarily what's important to me, but what my credentials are. So I am a little unlike your other teachers because I did not come into teaching the typical way that other teachers do. They um, go to school for teaching and that's their major and their minor and they have an emphasis on that. I did not go that path. So when I went to school, I got a, I went to Murray State University I was an honor student, and uh, I got my diploma, uh, Bachelor of Arts, with an emphasis in film, with a minor, or excuse me, uh, emphasis in theater. That was my major. My minor was film, and film was a new major or minor at the time at Murray State University. Um, part of my thesis. Uh, for because of my honors to program criteria was writing a full-length play. That full-length play was performed in, oh, I should know this because that's when I met my wife, like 2010, maybe? 2008, yeah, just uh, somewhere around in there. And uh, it was on, it was during John James Audubon. I'm sure you've heard of that name one way or the other. Uh, his bicentennial celebration in Henderson. We performed it at Audubon State Park. Um, um, Steve McCarty, who's over at the Preston Arts Center, was a huge help and mentor during that process. But uh, that was uh, my first big thing that I did uh, after school. 
and then since then in terms of theatrical world I um, am uh, I've always worked over at the Preston Arts Center as a stagehand and worked for traveling shows and local shows and all that kind of jazz so I have practical experience backstage uh, however, uh, I've also worked in the radio st at the radio station local WSON, where I hosted a radio show. Uh, I've done podcasting before. I have a podcast online, and then um, yeah, my main thing and my main, I guess you can say, gig for the longest time was at a 2013, 14 maybe. I uh, started a video production business. Uh, film, I love theater. Theater is my thing, and nothing gets me more excited than going to see a play. Uh, but film is my other love and passion. So I started a video production business where I did, in the beginning, I did everything from you know weddings to business videos and continually worked my way up till I worked for uh, companies like uh, Rip Current and Panasonic. I know you don't know who Rip Current is, but they're a fairly big deal, and Panasonic. And then I landed um, a gig producing and directing a television show um, that premiered one year or the summer before I got the gig in uh, here at the high school. So you may ask, why uh, would somebody doing television uh, want to come teach at a high school? And that's a very good question. Uh, let me first say that as glamorous, as proud as I, as I am of that television show and as glamorous as it sounds, and I'll tell you some stories about it <laughs> during class uh, over the course of the year, uh, it, was, it was a very, it was a semi-lucrative project. I got to pay the bills during the process, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't something that was, you know, paying me a whole lot of money. And really and truly, my reason for teaching came down to the fact that I, even though I had a lot of creative freedom on that show, and like I said, very proud of it, you should watch, well, you may not get it, but um, it still wasn't my show, right? So they approached me at the time and said listen we can't find a theater teacher we know who you are would you be interested in this position and essentially i said yeah i will dedicate my life to this for a little while as i reevaluate where i personally am going uh, and see how this works out because i honestly do enjoy teaching and i love theater and i think that it is an integral part of, it's always been an integral part of my life, but I think it's an integral part of society as well. So here I am. You're welcome. I'm telling you that not, I'm not trying to be braggadocious and I'm not trying to toot my own horn. Um, but what I'm going to tell you is that I come from a different world than most teachers do. Uh, I treat you all, my, you know, I don't have the background in education that my peers do. I am certified now in teaching theater, uh, but um, I'm going to treat you all like adults in this class. And I know this ranges from freshman to senior, so you're at different stages of your life, and some of you are getting ready to move on in one way or the other, and some of you are just starting your high school journeys, uh, which is a beautiful thing about this class. But I give you a level of responsibility that I don't know if other teachers give uh, and I also come from the professional world world first and foremost so um, I my my expectations of you is that uh, you know I'm, I'm all about you do you and you do what you need to do but just when we need to do stuff here you got to focus on that and get it done um, it sounds like I'm trying to say that I'm a bit of a pain, and I'm sure there are people that think that. Um, but the bottom line is, is that, you know, I don't know who any of you are, and that doesn't matter to me because we start on a clean slate, and uh, I look forward to your growth. Here's the deal. Uh, not only, some of you may be here just to take a um, fine arts credit. 
That's great. I'm happy that you joined this class. Truly, I am. Uh, some of you, like I said, may have interest in you know doing something related to theater uh, later on, and some of you may be testing the waters on potentially joining Sofa Theater. That's wonderful too. The key is is that you are all welcome here because theater, and this is one of the things that I love most about it, has always been a place uh, we colloquially and jokingly sometimes refer to it as the Isle of Misfits. And the truth is, is that uh, theater is a place where we accept everybody. It doesn't matter what your past is, it doesn't matter what your background is, it doesn't matter uh, what you've done wrong in the past. Um, you get a chance here that you don't get other places. So, you know, use it or lose it, that's gonna be your call in the end. But I sincerely look forward to getting to know each and every one of you. And no matter why you joined this class in the beginning, um, you're welcome to stay for as long as you want or transfer out, doesn't bother me one way or the other. Uh, but this is a journey that we're both going on and I look forward to sharing in that journey with you. So that's a little bit about me, expectations, opening speech. Uh, in just a little while, I'll go ahead and preview this for you. We're gonna have, you know, with these mastery guide things that we're doing now, um, we've got formative and summative uh, uh, benchmark, benchmarks for what uh, to tell what you learned and what you're going to do today is going to be a formative will be tied to this and uh, it's going to be real simple I just want to get to know you a little bit more so we're I got this Google form do this at your leisure turn it in when you when you can uh, these formative grades are fairly easy but it's just a way to make sure that you're caught up with everything uh, that's going on so yeah let me reference my notes and uh, we'll get back in just a little bit.